Welcome to St. Petersburg Together. I'm your host, Janice Ford. It's not just a day off, it's a day to give. That's the idea behind the MLK Day of Service project. Here to talk about this event is James Robinson and Lori Suit from St. Petersburg College. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. And um, might I say you look ravishing today. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> uh, mm. Tell me about the MLK Day of Service and how this all began. Well, originally in 1994, uh, the U.S. federal legislation was co-authored mm -hmm. by uh, Senator uh, Wilford mm -hmm. and Congressperson, Congressman mm -hmm. uh, Lewis. And they actually was the one that actually started the whole movement mm -hmm. to the tune of about 3,000 volunteers mm -hmm. that created 150 uh, service projects. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was in uh, Philadelphia. So we, when I say we, mm -hmm. the um, St. Pete College, in conjunction with the Florida legislator, mm -hmm. uh, thought that it would be nice to bring it here. Mm -hmm. And last year, in 2013, was the first time right. that we did it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very successful. Uh, we funded over 55 service projects. Mm -hmm. Um, but the application response was tremendous. We have over 90 of them okay. at that time. So last year's um, projects, uh, what's a, what was the results of that as far as projects, funds, things like that? We've, um, we've had a fund amount, mm -hmm. a total fund amount of $100,000, uh, which is the reason why we was only able to fund 55 of those projects. It was tremendous outpour from the community that well, would 55 owner. projects, that's a lot of projects. That's a tremendous amount of projects. Yeah. Uh, over 1,500 volunteers mm -hmm. were brought in mm -hmm. at that time. Uh, this year, however, the funding amount has doubled wow. um, to the point of $200,000, and that's just for St. Petersburg. Wow. Now, the total amount of the funding for a tri-city area, I'm going to tri-city area, mm -hmm. because Hillsborough College is um, uh, actually involved with it, mm -hmm. and also State College in Manatee. Mm -hmm. uh, the total fund is a million dollars. Wow. And this million dollars was spread of obviously across the period of right. three years. So we got one more year mm -hmm. to do this. So last year we had 100,000. This year we've got 200,000. Mm -hmm. So hopefully next year we have 300,000? Definitely. <laughs> what different this year than uh -huh. last year oh. is that we have a person to do fundraising, okay. to go to seek donors okay. uh, and sponsorship. And we're hoping to bring in um, at least 300000 this year okay. for that and okay. keep it going. We want to turn okay. it into a year on instead okay. of a year off. Right. Now, with the funding, uh, this is, this comes from the legislature, right? And, but you said you had a fundraiser. So would that be additional funds for projects that whatever money is raised? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So and that will go into the pot. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want, you're trying to sustain this. Exactly. If you don't get funding from the legislature to continue it, you want to go out and sustain the project by yeah. doing your own fundraising. Yeah, and that's after um, 2015. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so after 2015 is when you won't be getting any more money from the... There's nothing, there's uh, no more money slated. Okay. Uh, from okay. The, who knows it may change. Okay. So we need somebody up there too. I think we're going to have a lobbyist. Lobbyist yeah, to go up there. Okay. Well, that, that's always good to have yeah. a lobbyist to do that for you. Give me an example of some of the projects that was done last year. And I know that we do have some photographs uh, from some of those projects that we did last year. Uh, well, last year we had all sorts, a range of projects done. Um, we had some neighborhood organizations that um, beautified their neighborhood. Um, we had some organizations that cleaned up certain neighborhoods. Um, we had um, communities planting gardens. We had um, several organizations that um, I know the um, Urban League beautified the uh, Fannie Ponder House. Uh -huh. um, we had a book drive. We just, um, it was just an overpouring amount. We had one church that fed the homeless. Um, see. And I myself participated in one of the activities, one of the projects, uh -huh. and we actually went out to the nursing homes mm -hmm. and because we see that as a very underserved population mm -hmm. and we went out in a, um, met with them talked with them 
a lot of the volunteers was youth volunteers and one surprising result of uh -huh. that uh, interaction uh -huh. is that the youth got to know some history. Okay. So there's a rite of passage one right. there. Right. So I it was you know, very well received mm -hmm. by everyone. Right. You know, speaking of youth, we also, um, one of the high schools did a project for veterans. They got care boxes together and they sent them mm -hmm. to veterans. And I know girlfriends of Pinellas, they did a, um, they went to the nursing home and they made teddy bears mm -hmm. and gave them to the residents, so. Oh, sounds yeah. great. Now yeah. there are a lot of jobs, I'm sure you got applications for a lot of projects that didn't really fall into the realm of what you guys will fund. And I'm sure that there are some areas that you won't fund. And this this is funds that will be just for that day. It's right. not to sustain some organization or anything like that. Whatever funds you get, do they have to be used for that one day project? Or do you do ongoing type projects too? Good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this time, to 2014, we're doing two kinds of awards. Okay. One is the service award, which you just spoke about. Mm -hmm. It was, it, it, the project needs to be done that day. Okay. By the way, it's January the 20th, okay. 2014. Um, and there are signature award. It's what we're calling a signature mm -hmm. award. It's for the continuation of that service project and more. Okay. Uh, in other words, and I'll give you an example of what a signature pro project is, a model of one. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're feeding the homeless and you actually feed the homeless that day, uh, as a signature project, you would deal with other issues, uh, health issues, legal issues for the homeless, and then involve organizations in the community, professionals in the community, mm -hmm. come in and help with developing a consultation or to treat that population mm -hmm. for that. Now, that's an, an example of a signature war, of course. Um, the amount of for the signature award is up to $10,000. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we only given three at okay. this time because of funding okay. restrictions. You're giving three for 2014. Did you give any for this year? This past year? No. 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 Okay, no, so this no, is the this, first time you're going to have time. a signature award. Right. And okay. I do need to say that the service award, which is the one that did last year, uh -huh. this year is up to $5,000. Oh, okay. So, and, um, so that there's you can say that as an opportunity mm -hmm. for at least three organizations okay. because you have to receive the award, re receive the service award. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility of receiving both. Oh, okay. You know, because. Okay, so uh, one organization can a actually get both of, of these awards? They can exactly. do two applications? Is that what it would take or just yeah. one and incorporate it? Well, it's one and incorporate it. However, budgetary amounts, mm -hmm. budget will come later. Okay. Now, and I'm, I don't uh, the, the, the date for um, the deadline mm -hmm. for the application is the 15th okay. of this month. So that is restriction. However, mm -hmm. for the signature award, since the requirement is much greater, mm -hmm. uh, letters of uh, support mm -hmm. and, and that needs to be uh, gotten and turned in, okay. um, we, we, look, we stretch that deadline date for those items. If, how can folk get involved? with these projects? I mean, is it the projects, I, I would just say, coordinator, if you are awarded, how, how would they in, you know, involve folk, regular people in the community? It's, it depends on the project that they're doing and they go out and recruit their own volunteers. Volunteerism is not something that you recruit yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, you'll do? Yeah. Okay. Tell me a little bit about we, it. Um, actually, um, our other project coordinator who isn't here with us, she's dealing with the youth part okay. of the project and um, one of her responsibility is to get youth involved as, uh -huh. as volunteers. Um, also, if a person in the community wants to volunteer, they can contact our office and we will see about trying to okay. put them with the project. Um, also, the community can be involved, they can donate um, money, uh -huh. <laughs> they can <laughs> um, sponsor, like we said, volunteer and uh -huh. do a project. Now we talked about the two different types of awards and that's the service award and, and the signature award. Now I know that you all have been holding your workshops and what have you out at St. Pete College, correct? Correct. Awesome. And, and have you finished all of those or are there some coming up? 
unfortunately, the last one at that facility um, was on the 3rd. Okay. I'm sorry, the 7th of, the, of this month. However, a uh, phone call and we'll be willing to come to the facilities during a meeting and mm -hmm. just go over okay. the application itself. Okay. Majority of the individuals that attended those mm -hmm. meetings uh, partic participated last year. Uh -huh. And so it was a really quick and easy session for everybody. Uh, not many questions was mm -hmm. need, needed to be answered, but mm -hmm. one of the things you can do is, like I said, contact us via the website. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you you have it. Okay, tell us it's the website. It's www.spcollege, uh -huh. all one word, dot edu backslash MLK service. Okay. Go to that website. There is our contact information there. Now, for those folks who don't have a computer out there, what's the contact numbers that they can call? And call us. Okay, give us that number. Call us. Um, my number uh -huh. is 727-341-4121. Uh -huh. And then we see how we can arrange uh -huh. either doing a paper. It must be online. So there are computers that okay. we can assign you to. Okay. And there are a lot of computer labs located around the city Library, too. Library. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and Lori, is there a contact number for you? Sure. 727-431-4130. Actually, three four one four one three zero. Okay, a little backwards. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Now you all are both employed by St. Pete College. Now, did you all just become employed to administer this grant, or have you been employed by St. Pete College's college all the time? I've. This is. Uh, I guess you could say I'm a project manager. Mm -hmm. This is my first project with St. Pete College. Okay. Uh, I've worked with uh, ACC, and I've done other projects around uh, with WorkNet. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first time, first tour okay. with the college. And you, Lauren? This is my second year. This is your second year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how did St. Pete College come to get or to be fiduciary or what have you for this, um, this money? Um, basically, the funds was the founder. Uh -huh. I guess the person who actually brought it to this area is uh, Representative State uh, Attorney Daryl Rus uh, Representative Ruson. Mm -hmm. uh, he is an attorney. He's not <laughs> yes, state he attorney. Is. <laughs> um, and and, and through his efforts, through his efforts, it was brought to this area, um, and that it was um, uh, Dr. Law, who's the uh, president of the college, um, was contacted to be the uh, fiscal agent. Um, and it, through the foundation and the college itself are uh, the ones that administer all the, the financial uh, part of it. What type of projects, uh, can you give us any idea of what type of projects people are going to, uh, are applying for, trying to get funding for this year? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, you have anything from beautification mm -hmm. projects to um, Basically, the one I spoke of about going out and doing educational mm -hmm. pieces, health issues, um, energy conservation, energy stewardship type projects, um, civic groups are going out and doing projects. The focus is, however, the results of these projects has to be service related. Um, what may not get funded is something uh, that is only a capital improvement piece uh -huh. with no service part of it. This is why it was important to be a part of these sessions because we actually got asked these questions okay. during the sessions and we were able to explain to them. Uh -huh. The ideal situation is to go to the website, click on the projects um, that was 2013 uh -huh. projects and you can see what those uh, projects, at least the title of the projects, uh -huh. and maybe contact them. Right. Or just call us. Mm -hmm. We'll be happy to explain. Okay. So, will you have any of the uh, repeat uh, projects, um, like from last year? Possibly. Yes. So, like you, you mm -hmm. had a project for folks doing uh, boxes for veterans and things yes. like that. Mm -hmm. yes. Will that be a, a type of uh, service that you can do again yes. this year? Yes. So it's not just you know you just do it one time and and you can't apply anymore, you no, can't. You can so there's no limitations on any agency uh, applying several 
times, you know, as long as this project is right. in place. As long as it's service related. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And explain again to the folk who are not sure about what service related is, because I'm sure that you probably get a lot of questions and a lot of applications that you probably can't even review because of that, that people are not understanding exactly what service related is. Okay. Well, when you describing, composing your narrative, mm -hmm. um, there are seven themes mm -hmm. and they are listed on the, in the application oh, okay. that you have to see what, your uh, see how falls it in. falls up under okay. those categories. Okay. Basically, as I said before, you want to make sure that a service to some group okay. is a result of what you're doing. Okay. Um, and, and, and compose your narrative that way. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if you have any more questions, call us. Okay. And we can give you examples. Mm -hmm. um, and a, the other issue on the website, there's something that call, that's called a project toolkit. Okay. Um, and it links, it is linked to a site that is controlled by the government. Those projects, we do have examples of them. Okay. Uh, I have examples of them in other in other words, give us a call. Okay. The best way to do this, call us and we can help yeah. uh, help you, not help you design it, mm -hmm. but help give you ideas. Yes, but make yeah. that very clear because. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's unfair if we help you design it. Exactly. Now, the <laughs> evaluation of these projects mm -hmm. will be done by a third party. It will not be done by the college. It will not be done by the advisory board, which I didn't, I neglected mm -hmm. to, uh, to mention there is a, uh, advisory committee okay. made up of citizens of this area of St. Petersburg that helped driving this. Okay. This, this, and uh, that is just for the like of any other title, grant review or yeah. evaluators that will decide yeah. what, who gets yeah. awarded. Is there some type of um, point system that a uh, grading system that you do for you know an application? If I turn in an application, I got this project, what would determine whether or not I get awarded up. Yeah, that information is in the, the application itself. Okay. Uh, it's kind of lengthy. Uh -huh. It may take us more than thirty minutes to do. <laughs> but you look at your project okay. impact, the number of volunteers that you're going to uh -huh. incorporate. Uh -huh. We want you to uh, collaborate with the community and the business and the corporate community is specifically. I want okay. you to build collaboration. Okay. So if you do all of those things. You stand a really good chance. Okay. Uh, and you stated in the application that there are seven areas that you can uh, uh, base your your project on. Uh, what are, what are those? Do you have that? Yeah, um, I think I mentioned um, the areas of education, mm -hmm. health, um, disaster preparedness. Okay. That's um, always a good one. Economic oh yes. opportunity. Economic, yeah. And um, public safety, neighborhood projects, um, supporting veterans and military families, and clean energy and environmental stewardship. Okay. Those are. Do you get more applications under one of those than you do others? Have all of the the gamut has been um, applied for? I mean, do you have projects that fall in all of those categories? that folks apply for? I've looked at last year, mm -hmm. and a lot of them fell up on the education. Okay. Quite a few did, mm -hmm. health, um, and there was quite a few that fell up under the, the um, beautification, beautification area, okay. which is, is, you know, d depends on what the beautification is right. to serve. Right. Um, and it could be an education as it is for school during right. a area, mm -hmm. just for, I imagine a lot of, some of the neighborhood um, associations apply to do beautification projects in their neighborhoods. Yes. Would that be something that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. Any other information that you need to get out about this uh, this application? And I'm sure you probably, how many applications do you all usually get? Last year, how many you got? Last year we got 90. 90, and you awarded? Yeah, and we awarded 55. Okay. The goal is to double that. Right now we've um, noticed 
that we've had 185 viewers. Mm -hmm. Normally, a viewer is the person that's going to fill out the application. Okay. So we are well on our way. Oh, okay. <laughs> we've already doubled the 90, okay. uh, at least with that aspect. So okay. if things works out by the 15th, we may be upwards of 200, oh, okay. um, which is about the yeah. norm. Yeah, <laughs> we got. She and I has a lot of work to do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because you all basically have to. Do you all review the applications first before they go to the committee? Or are you just basically accepting them? Do you peruse any of those applications to make sure that they are, you know, all eyes and mm -hmm. dotted and you know T's crossed mm -hmm. before you give them to the committee? Or how does that exactly work? Well, last year, that happened. Uh -huh. um, the first part, we want to make sure that all, like you said, all the I's are dotted uh -huh. and the T's are crossed. Right. None of the questions are left off, uh -huh. are left blank. Right. That should be, uh -huh. should not not be left off. Exactly. And then it goes to the committee. Okay, because um, you kind of want to weed yeah. out those yeah. that's not complete applications. Yeah. And so, sometimes that happens, yeah. you know, when you, when you have a, you know, application yeah. process out there. Uh, give me that website again. The, address and okay. phone numbers too. Okay. <laughs> the right way to yeah. <laughs> Don't I'll get those mixed up. <laughs> uh, I'll give you the phone number 727-341-4130. That's my phone number. And, and my phone number is 727-341-4121. The website is www.spcollege, one word, dot edu, backslash, MLK service. And that's all one word. Okay. In the few minutes that we have left, go over those two types of awards again, because I think that uh, with you having more money this year to dispense and the fact that you can get up to $10,000, mm -hmm. but there is a difference in those awards. Can I kind of go over that just okay. briefly again for us? The, s the service award, uh, the funding is up to $5,000. Okay. okay, now that's uh, the criteria for those awards is listed listed mm -hmm. in the application itself. <coughs> um, the budget information has to be there. Pretty much everything is listed there. The signature award is up to $10,000. Yes, a organization can get both. Matter of fact, in order to be considered for the signature award, you have to receive a service award. Oh, okay. So you can get both. Now, like I said, it's up to $10,000 uh, for the signature award. It's a much more strenuous um, documentation and and we want to encourage a collaboration, partnering with businesses, partnering okay. with local community, but specifically uh, providing multi-level services to the population that you're treating. Okay. Also the service award and the signature award. Mm -hmm. In reality if you apply for both, mm -hmm. you can get fifteen thousand dollars. Up to fifteen thousand dollars. Up to fifteen, yeah. yes, that's oh, okay. most definitely. And one other thing is, doesn't matter um, the number of departments that your organization apply. Mm -hmm. um, last year, there was several uh, organizations that had different departments to apply, and they got awarded. Okay. Up, up under the service award, mm -hmm. so. You know, our main focus is getting the service component done in our community, raising the level of volunteerism in our community, um, and giving back to the needy okay. folks. Sounds great. Well, thank you both for joining us. Here's the information about the MLK Day of Service. I'm Janice Ford. Thanks for watching St. Petersburg Together. See you again next time.